today I am finally doing my two week update for being in my file effects. So I'm going to apologize beforehand if this video is a little bit shaky and that's just because I'm in the process of moving. So I've packed away my tripod and actually my big tripod broke on me. I've had it for like two years and it just fell apart. So <laughs> add that to the list of things that I need to get. But I really wanted to do this update before I did move because I have been really living in this planner right now. So this is, once again, my Safiano in Poppy Red in personal size. The last video I had up on this was just showing you my basic setup. And I wanna say a lot of things changed. Um, it's mostly cosmetic changes, but there have been changes nonetheless. So I'm going to dive right in and show you what's going on. So for the most part, this view probably looks exactly the same and that's just because not too much has changed. I'm still using this dashboard, which I love. I don't foresee changing it anytime soon because I'm just really enjoying it. I still have my different post-it tabs over here, some washi tape, my Sharpie pen, still loving using that. So I've added this notepad into this part right here. It's taking a lot of paper to, you know, take notes and write down addresses and things like that. So I just threw this in here. It's just really cheap 10 cent paper from Walmart, so I don't really care about wasting it on notes. A new addition to this planner is this paper clip. So this is a magnetic paper clip from Barnes and Nobles. You get three for like six bucks. This one has a wolf and I have some more later in the planner, but this one's just put on here right here because I think it's cute. I have new tabs, <laughs> less tabs, and you can view the tab. For a week, I did have them labeled and I was using the, using the Smashbook embossing labels and I loved the look, but they just would not stick down no matter how I glued them down. I'm sure if I super glued them, <laughs> they would have stuck. I just wasn't willing to go that far. So um, I just didn't label them. I have three sections. If I can't remember what's in three different sections, I, I should, I need help. So <laughs> this is good enough for me. All of my dividers, except for my flyleaf, are made from Smashbook paper that I've just, you know, I've bought them on sale and I dissected them to make them into dividers basically, which might make some people cringe, but I'm not a smashbooker, so it doesn't really bother me. And like I said, got them on sale, so it's not a huge deal. My first spider is obviously for my dates or my diary, whatever you want to call it. And this paper just had calendars on it, so I thought it was fitting. It's kind of chopped off, so you don't get the full effect, but I like it anyways. These ones were fun because each of the paper were double-sided, so I didn't have to like do that added step of double-siding the paper. Still have my... You're at a glance here from Filofax, still getting used to the vertical weeks, but I'm sure eventually I'll get used to looking at it that way. Um, yeah. So the next addition, so this is a new insert that I've created for myself because this Filofax does not come with a month at a glance and a month at a glance is very important for me. I just simply created my own template, um, graph paper. I'm a huge fan of graph paper if you can't tell. and. I just handwrite the dates in and I like it. It's simple, it's small, it fits perfectly. I think it has a nice look to it because I don't know, I really like the handmade inserts. Um, I did have someone ask me to do a video on how I make my inserts. I am so happy to do that for you guys, but like I said, I am moving right now, so it's not gonna be anytime soon. But as soon as I'm settled in with the next month or two, I promise I'll have that up. It's super easy though. Um, I just kind of fiddle with the measurements and <laughs> draw it with a ruler. So it's really, really easy, way easier than trying to figure out how to print things off of a computer, I find. So, you know, if you're like me and you can't figure out printers, this is a really good option. Still have my cute little bunny paper clip in here. Now he's holding my week, my month at a glance to my week. So this is my current week that we're on and it's a bad week to look at because I haven't even done the other half of the week because I've just been so, so busy. I've literally been in a car or looking at apartments every day this week. I haven't had time to like fill anything out, which is it's funny because I'm so busy. You think this is the time where I'd be, that I would be writing more stuff in, but no, apparently not. So I'll just go back and show you guys my weeks from the last couple weeks. Cause like I said, I've been in here for two and a half weeks. So as you can see, it's a really basic setup. I just have my eight different sections, one for each day of the week and an extra that I can use for menus or <laughs> in the case of this week, I'm not cooking at all. So I could just use it for notes if I need to do that. Um, minimal decorating. I mean, I guess for some people, this is probably a lot of decorating for me, not so much. Then um, another, this was a slow week last week because we just didn't have much to do. 
still really enjoying using my Smashbook date stamper and Crayola markers for stamping the date. I just like the way it looks and I like that I can do different colors each week. So yeah, it's super easy, super affordable because it just costs the paper and that's it. I apologize if it sounds like I'm going kind of fast. My battery is about to die so I'm trying to get everything in. This is my next folder and this is my financial section. This is just another piece of paper from a Smashbook and it doesn't really have any theme towards what's behind it, but I still know what it is. And I really like the back of it too. It's a really pretty watercolor. So I moved my flyleaf up here to stick on things that I need to get. This isn't really relevant for now because this is our 2015 envelope system. That's going to be fun starting. Um, so this is new. I'm going to, I guess I can leave it clipped. So this is another thing that I want to show when I do my insert video. I made this fold out page and it was a really, really easy chart to make. And all it is, is going to be a bill tracker. And you know, you can download these off of tons of different websites for free or buy them on Etsy and stuff like that. But you know me, I'm just gonna make it myself. It was super easy. I just, you know, laid out the grid, um, gave myself more than enough, I'm sure, of boxes to label what our bills are and then did the months through the year. So this is going to start in 2015, which is when I really plan on buckling down with keeping track of things. And all I plan to do each month is write in all of our bills and keep a monthly total. I put this strip of tape, this marks the end of 2015 and goes into 2016. So this is something that I can keep in my file of facts for a long, long time to come. Clipped in there is just a bunch more information about bills and things like that. Then I still have my my um, wish list, and that's it for that section. This is my mind dump. I've talked about it before, but my mind dump is my most important section, especially right now. I find myself using it constantly, um, more than daily. It's definitely constantly being used. And um, while making this divider, I kind of made a boo-boo. Ended up putting a big crease right here. And it really stuck out, especially to me. So I just went over it with some glitter washi tape. And I mean, obviously you can still see that there's something there, but I think it looks a little bit better. Anyways, the back of the paper is, you know, nothing really special. Mind dump is, it's kind of hard to like go through a mind dump because it's just, it's, unless it's your mind dump section, it's probably random gibberish, but um, this is still things that I need to do for this file of facts. So this huge section right here that I have paper clipped is all addresses of apartments and houses that we want to check out. And it's really hard to get through all of them, but this has been the main bulk of my mind dump section right now. It's just writing down possible places to live. I've moved this up because it's now really important. It's everything that we need to get for our apartment. Uh, my Ikea wish list. Then I just have my YouTube to-dos, my shop and blog to-dos, which all this stuff is kind of being put on a hold right now. Um, still have my books that I've read. And then I'm still using my tabs right here, my music, movies, and books. And I actually need to go through and cross some things out because I've gotten some of these things, but I've been way too busy. This is a flyleaf that I made. I think I talked about this in the last video. I moved it right here and put a little tab on it just so I can easily get to my spare pieces of paper. That's all that's left in the back of this. I like it because I don't need a dedicated section just for that stuff, but I still like to easily find it and access it if you know what I mean. And I just have, like always, file facts, inserts, spare um, paper, gray paper. Uh, yeah, just all that fun stuff. I ended up moving my top loading envelope to the very back and I actually have stuff in this little folder that I made. So I talked about making this in my last video and um, I have those other two clips in here. So a little owl and a little badger. I think it's a honey badger. I don't know if you've seen the honey badger video. I'm sure you're obsessed like I am. These are some tabs. I have other Smashbook tabs. They're not really relevant to my planner, but these ones I found easily can work on different pages. Then the only other addition that I have really is I have added a moleskin back here. So I will pull this out. I'm not sure on the exact size of this, but as you can see, it is a little moleskin journal and I added it back here for a couple reasons. 
first it fits so that's always nice and i don't really like the pad of paper that comes with the safiana it doesn't look nice to me this looks nice and clean so i like the lines of it while when it's in the pocket and I plan on using this as sort of a gratitude journal just to write down, you know, things that I'm thankful for, things that make me happy and things like that. And it's nice to have something that is bound like this so when I fill it up, I can archive it super easy. I just <laughs> put it away. Um, as you can see, it does sort of form to the shape of the Moleskine, but if you take it out, let it sit for a couple hours, it goes back to its normal shape, which is the nice thing about the material that they use for the Safianos is it is very forgiving because it's just like a plastic material. That is the complete walkthrough of my file effects that I've been using, like I said, for two and a half weeks now. I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe got some tips or ideas. I don't know. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments section below. I will try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Like I said, I am very busy right now, so it might not be as quickly as I would like it to be, but that being said, I will try. So I hope you guys have had a great day and I will talk to you later. Goodbye.